SEH ETF for the Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF is one of my favorite holdings across my entire long-term portfolio. Now, as of right now, I currently hold around 641 shares of SEH across all my portfolios combined. And this is simply because as a long-term dividend growth investor, this ETF basically solves for and has achieved everything I'm personally looking for long-term. Now, those things being, I want to invest in an ETF with a high quality basket of holdings that at least historically and hopefully in the future will, will continue to move up as far as price goes. But on top of that, for the most part, I'm looking for high quality dividend growth ETFs that aren't going to cost me too much to own. And most importantly, for me personally, because I am looking to use my dividend income to live off of later on in the future, SEHG does have a 3.5% trillion 12 month dividend yield and has had some massive dividend growth historically, which means long term I'm going to get paid more and more in dividends. At least that's what's happened so far. But in this video specifically, we're going to look into the top 10 holdings in SEHG as of right now. We're talking about the 10 stocks that make up the majority of this ETF as a film in this video. We're going to analyze every single one of these holdings and see how they performed long term and talk about the future outlooks for all of these. So if you want to go under the hood with me, dig a little bit deeper into the Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF, make sure to stick around, drop a like down below, and let's get right into the first holding. Real quick for those that haven't already, make sure to go to the first link in my description and grab my new dividend investing ebook where I share exactly how I went from $0 invested to now earning over $6,000 on a monthly basis and over $1 million invested in the market. Along with the ebook, you're also going to receive my custom dividend tracker where you can track your dividend progress on an ongoing basis and reach your dividend investing goals. So make sure to grab yourself a copy of my dividend investing ebook and the new dividend tracker today. It's the first link in my description. Now the top 10 holdings in SCHD as of right now, as of filming this video, is the Home Depot, which is 4.2% of the entire fund, or around 2.4 billion. Then we have Amgen, 4.11% of the fund. UPS, we have 4.03%. We have BLK or BlackRock, around 4%. AbV, around 4%. And then just under 4%, we have names like Cisco, names like Chevron, Coca-Cola, Lockheed Martin, and lastly, Texas Instruments. Now, one of the big criticisms that a lot of investors have when it comes to SEHG is, even though this ETF has some impressive returns historically, a lot of investors just aren't really all that fond of the top 10 holdings. And a lot of investors think that other high quality dividend growth style ETFs like DGRW, DGRO, for example, might be better fits. And in some ways, I will agree with that. I probably wouldn't pick these 10 stocks to be the top holdings for my specific portfolio, but because SCG follows a very tight, strict methodology, I have faith that the fund is picking the right stocks and balancing them accordingly. So without any other waiting, let's dig a little bit deeper into the top 10 holdings in SCHD as of right now, because honestly, whether it's SCHD or any other ETF that you're holding on to, you really want to know exactly what makes up the fund, what makes up the ETF. And like I said, in this case, these are the top 10 holdings for SCHD as of right now. Now, the first holding is Home Depot, ticker symbol HD, which has performed pretty amazingly in the long term. Home Depot is up around 4,000% on the max time frame. Year to date, Home Depot has recovered pretty well also, up around 5%. The last year time frame, Home Depot is up around 11.7%. But it's not just price return that Home Depot offers. Home Depot is a dividend growth name that offers around a 2.5% forward yield with a history of growing dividends and a history of growing them fast. The five-year dividend growth rate for Home Depot, for example, is around 12.6%. So a lot of times investors are a little bit confused on how SCHD, at least historically, has raised their dividends so fast. Well, that's exactly how. They invest into different companies that have a history of increasing their dividends very quickly, and Home Depot is no stranger to that. Home Depot's latest dividend increase was from $2.09 up to $2.25. So Home Depot not only has some upside potential from here, but also pays a nice solid dividend from day one with some massive dividend growth historically. The next top name in SHD, which has performed amazing over the last year, is ticker symbol AMGN or Amgen Inc. Now on the one year time frame, Amgen is up around 42%. The max time frame, this stock is up over 5,500%. Now basically ever since 2008, this stock has been trading for the most part straight up into the right, compounding portfolios for many, many years now. But along with that price return, Amgen also pays a forward yield of 2.72% and has around 9.6% dividend growth on the five-year time frame. So Amgen is another one that definitely seems to have the potential to move up in price from here, but also pays more and more in dividends year after year, at least has historically. The next largest position in SCHD as of right now is UPS or United Postal Service, one of my favorite single holdings in my long-term portfolio. Now UPS, unlike the other two, is actually red in the year time frame, down around 23% so far. Year-to-date UPS is also down around 8%, so this stock is having a bit of a pullback, which is why honestly, in my opinion, UPS could be offering a potential buying opportunity, but we'll save that 
for a different video. Now with this pullback, UPS of course is offering a massive, massive starting yield at around 4.5%, which is one of the highest starting yields we've seen UPS have in a while. Now, even though UPS's dividend growth has been a little bit slower than that that we saw back in 2021, from a $1.02 dividend quarterly to a $1.52 dividend quarterly, the most recent growth is much, much slower. But still, I think that longer term, UPS does have the potential to turn back around and trade much, much closer to that 52 range high, but I guess we're gonna have to see. The next largest holding in SHD is BlackRock as of right now, which is up around 11% on the one-year time frame and up around 2.3% on year to date. Now, even though BlackRock basically is trading very close to all-time highs, there still is some potential upside here if we're going off of the all-time highs back in 2021. Now, BlackRock offers a 2.4% and has around, you guessed it, 9.45% five-year dividend growth rate, which is massive. So it's starting to become very clear here that all the top names in SEHG not only have basically traded up into the right historically, but also have paid massive dividends over and over again, raising them year after year historically. The next largest holding in SEHG is ABV or ticker symbol ABBV. This stock has been in my portfolio as a single stock name for several years now and has performed very well historically. Now, as far as Abby's performance as of right now, it's just around $10 or so off of the all-time high, which we saw a few months back. But even with the where it's trading, the stock is still offering a 3.6% forward yield and has a massive dividend growth rate to match it. 8% dividend growth rate in the last five years. This is another one that has been trading up into the right and also paying more and more in dividends historically with another dividend increase scheduled just a few quarters from now. The next top position in SHD is none other than Cisco. This was a holding in my portfolio years ago, and I ended up selling it off just because I thought there was better uses of my cash. Now Cisco's down around 11.8% of the one year, and on the five year time frame, Cisco's also down around 18.9%. Now, if you zoom all the way out, Cisco has been trending up into the right for the most part, but again, out of all the names in the top 10 list, this is probably one of my least favorites. Now, where Cisco is trading right now, it's offering a 3.3% forward dividend yield and only 3% dividend growth rate, which is one of the smallest, if not the smallest, dividend growth rate out of all the top names in SHD. Another high quality single stock that makes up a large portion of this ETF is none other than CVX or Chevron. Now, Chevron in the last few years moved up a lot, and now it's pulled back a decent amount ever, ever since the beginning of 2023. Year to date though, Chevron is still up around 5.25%, not to mention this stock offers a 4.1% forward dividend yield and some decent dividend growth historically, around 6.33% on the five year. Now Chevron's paid dividends for years and years, and just as of recently back in February of this year, there was a massive dividend increase from $1.51 all the way up to $1.63. So another name that most likely will continue to trade up into the right, at least that's what's happened historically, and also pay more and more in dividends over time to shareholders. A few more single stocks to go through that make up SHD. We have, of course, Coca-Cola, which is up around 3.7% in the one year and up around 9.9% year to date. Now, this stock has performed pretty well in the next time frame, although there are other dividend growth names out there that, that have grown a little bit faster in share price. Now, this stock offers a 2.9% forward yield and also has a relatively low dividend growth rate, 3.65%. So we're in the range of what Cisco offers. Now, even though KO doesn't offer the largest dividend or the largest amount of dividend growth, it has been sort of a try and true position, which I don't have any problem with it, making up a large position of SCHD as of right now. The second to last top holding for SCHD is LMT or Lockheed Martin, which is up around 1400% plus in the max time frame. Year to date, this stock is up around 4.7%. The one year time frame, it's up around 4%. Now this stock is pretty high beta and does have the potential to really grow if certain things happen in the world. Only offering a 2.65% forward yield, but the dividend growth rate is definitely there at around 7.68%. Not to mention this stock has a long standing history of paying dividends on time and paying more and more dividends long term. Now, the last and final position in SEHD's top 10 holdings as of right now is none other than Texas Instruments Incorporated or TXN, which is up around 12% over the last year and up 20.7% year to date. Now, this stock also, along with the rest of them, have grown like crazy and has recovered very nicely, offering a 2.61% forward yield and 11.9% dividend growth rate on the five year. This stock not only has recovered amazingly, which has definitely helped SCHD, but has paid more and more in dividends over time, and it looks like there's another dividend increase scheduled very soon. So now that we went through all the top 10 holdings and shared with you a little bit of each and every one of these and saw exactly what they have to offer, I want to hear from you guys down below. If you were to pick just one holding in the top 10 holding for SCHD and hold onto it forever, which one of these would it be and why? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to please drop a like and subscribe for more future content like this. Thanks as always for stopping by and if you are interested in investing, make sure to check out these recent videos I posted right here.